Hi guys, I'm back. Today it's the 12th of April 2021. Today I'm going to read Amos 6 to 9, Proverbs 12, and Psalm 104. Let's get started. How terrible it will be for you men who are so contented on that side. How terrible for you who feel secure on the hill of Samaria. You are a favor spent from the greatest nation. The people of Israel come to you for help and advice. Go and look at the city of Kona. Go from there to the great city of Hamath. Then go down to Gath and Philistia. Are those places better off than your two kingdoms? Is their land larger than yours? You are trying to avoid the time when trouble will come, but you are only bringing closer the Assyrian rule of terror. You lie down on beds that are decorated with ivory. You rest on your couches. You eat the best lamps and the fattest coals. You pluck away on your harps as David did. You play new songs on musical instruments. You drink wine by the bowl. Bowlful. You use the finest lotions, but Joseph's people will soon be destroyed, and you aren't even sad about it, so you will be among the first to be taken away as prisoners. You won't be able to enjoy good food. You won't lie around on couches anymore. The Lord and King has made a promise in his own name. He is the Lord. Lord God, who rules over all. He announces. I hate the pride of Jacob's people. I can't stand their thoughts. I'll hand the city of Samaria and everything in it over to their temples and amenities. Ten people might be left in the house. If they are, they'll die there. The relatives might come to burn the dead bodies. If they did, they'll have to carry them out of the house first. They might ask someone still hiding there. Is anyone else with here with you? If the answer is no, the relatives will go on to say, Be quiet. We must not pray in the Lord's name. That's because the Lord has already given an order. He'll smash large houses to pieces. He'll crush small houses to bits. Horses don't run on rocky ground. People don't flow the sea with oxen. But you've turned fair treatment into poison. You've turned the fruit of right living into, bitten, into bitterness. You are happy because you captured the town of Low Deva. You say, we, are, we were strong enough to take our name to uh, the Lord God who rules over all. He announced, people wither. I'll stir up a nation. <coughs> against you. Oh, they'll crush you from Levi Hamath all the way down to the Arab Valley. The Lord in King gave me a vision. He was bringing large numbers of locusts on the land. The king's share had already been harvested. Now the later crops were coming up. The locusts stripped the land good. Then it cried out, Lord and King, forgive Israel. How could Jacob's people continue? They are such a weak nation. So the Lord had pity on them, so I will let them continue for now, he said. The Lord and King gave me a second vision. He was using fire to punish his people. He dried up the deep waters. He burned the land up. Then I cried out, Lord and King, please stop. How can Jacob's people continue? He has such a weak nation. So the, the Lord had pity on them. I will let them continue for now, the Lord and King said. Then the Lord gave me a third vision. He was standing by a wall. It had been built very straight, all the way up and down. <laughs> He was holding a plumb line. The Lord asked me, What do you see, Amos? A plumb line. And I replied. And then the Lord said, Look at what I am doing. I am hanging a plumb line next to my people, Isaac. He will show how cool they are, and I will no longer spare them. The high places where Isaac's people worship other gods will be destroyed. The other places of worship in Israel will, be, will also be torn down. I will use my sword to attack Jeroboam's royal family. And Maziah was a priest of Bethel. Was priest of Bethel. He sent a message to Jeroboam, the king of Israel. He said, Amos is making evil plans against you. He Right here in Israel, the people in the land can't stand to listen to what he's saying. Amos is telling them, Jeroboam will be killed by a sword. The people of Israel will be taken away as prisoners. They will be carried off from their own land. Then Amazia said to Amos, Get out of Israel, you prophet. Go back to the land of Judah. Earn your living there. Do your prophesying there. Don't prophesy here at Bethel anymore. This is where the king worships. The main temple in the kingdom is located here. Amos answered Amasia, I was not a prophet. I wasn't even the son of a prophet. I was a shepherd. I also took care of sycamore fig trees. But the Lord took me away from taking care of my flock, of the flock. Then he said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. Now then, listen to the Lord's message. You say, Don't prophesy against Israel. Stop preaching against the people of Isaac. But the Lord says, Your wife will become a prostitute in the city of Bethel. Your sons and daughters will be killed by swords. Your land will be measured and divided up, and you yourself will die in another country. 
The people of Israel will surely be taken away as prisoners. They will be carried off from there and there. And the Lord and King gave me a vision. He showed me a basket of ripe fruit. But what do you see, Amos? He asked. A basket of ripe fruit, I replied. Then the Lord said to me, The time is ripe for my people of Israel. I will no longer spare them. The time is coming when the songs in the temple will turn to weeping. And that is the Lord and King. Many, many bodies will be thrown everywhere. So be quiet. Listen to me, you who walk over all over needy people. You crush those who are poor in the way. You say, when will the new moon feast be over? When we, then we can start our grain. When will the Sabbath day come to an end? Then people can buy our wheat. But you measure out the earth, then the right amount. You raise our prices. You cheat others by using the stone scales. You buy poor people to make slaves out of them. You buy those who are in need of a mere pair of sandals. You even sell the worthless parts of your wheat. The people of Jacob, you are proud that the Lord is your God, but he has made a promise in his own name. He says, I will never forget anything Israel has done. The land will tremble because of what will happen. Everyone who lives in it will mourn. So the whole land will rise like the Nile River. It will be stirred up. Then it will settle back down again, like that river in Egypt. The Lord and King announces, At that time I will make the sun go dark down at noon. The earth will become dark in the middle of the day. I'll turn your holy feasts into time for money, into times of for money. I'll turn all your songs into weeping. You will have to wear the clothing of sadness. You will shave your heads. I will make you mourn as if your only son had died. At the end of that time it'll the end of that time will be like a bitter day. The Lord and King answered, The days are coming when I will send hunger through the land. But people will not be hungry for food. They will not be hungry for war. They will not be thirsty for war. Instead, they will be hungry to hear a message from me. People will wander from the Dead Sea to the Mediterranean. They will travel from north to east. They will look for a message from me, but they will not find it. At that time, the lovely young woman and strong young men will faint because they are so thirsty. Some people make promises in the name of Samaria's God that God has led them astray. Others say, people of dead, you can be sure that your God is alive. Still others say, you can be sure that Beersheba's God is alive. But all these people will fall dead. They will never get up again. I saw the Lord standing next to the altar in the temple. He said to me, strike the tops of the temple pillars, but then the heavy stones at the base of the entrance will shake. Bring everyone down on the heads of everyone here. There. I will kill with my swords those who are left alive. None of the Israelites will escape. None will get away. They might dig down deep, but my powerful hand will take them out of here. There. I might climb up to the heavens, but then I will bring them down from there. They might hide on top of Mount Karma, but I will hunt them down and grab them. They might hide from me at the bottom of the ocean, but even there I will command the serpent to bite them. They might, their enemies might take them away as prisoners to another country, but there I will command Israel's enemies to cut them down with swords. I'll keep my eye on Israel to harm them. I will not help them. The Lord rules over all. The Lord touches the earth and it melts. Everyone who lives in it melts. The whole land rises like the Nile River. Then it sails back down again, like that river in Egypt. The Lord builds his palace high in the heavens. He lays its foundation on the earth. He sends for the waters in the clouds. And then he pours them out on the surface of the land. His name is Thor. You Israelites are just like the people of Cush to me. And this is Thor. I, sir, I brought Israel up from Egypt. I also brought the Philistines from Crete and the Arameans from Ker. I am the Lord and King. My eyes are watching the simple kingdom of Israel. I will wipe it off the face of the earth, but I will not totally destroy the people of Jacob. And as is the Lord, I will give an order. I will shake the people of Israel among all the nations. They will be like a grain that is shaken through a screen. Not a pebble will fall to the ground. All the sins among my people will be killed by swords. They say, nothing bad will ever happen to us. Then a time will come when I will set up David's fallen shelter. I will repair its broken walls. I will reveal what was destroyed. Then I will make it what it used to be. Then my people will take control of Adam, those who are left alive in Adam. They will also possess all the nations that belong to me. And that is the Lord. They will do all of these things. The days are coming. And that is the Lord. At that time, those who play the lamb will catch up with those who harvest the cross. Those who stomp on grapes will catch up with those who plant the vine. Fresh wine will drip from the mountains. You'll flow down from all the hills. I'll bring my people Israel back home. I'll bless them with great success again. 
They'll rebuild the destroyed cities and live in them. They'll plant vineyards and drink the wine they produce. They'll make gardens and eat their food. They'll plant each other in their own land. They will never again be removed from the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. Proverbs 12. Anyone who loves correction loves knowledge. Anyone who hates to be corrected is stupid. The Lord blesses anyone who does good, but he judges anyone who plans to do evil. No one can become strong and steady by doing evil. But if people do what is right, they can't be removed from the land. An excellent woman is a husband's wife. The wife who brings shame is like sin, but a sinner's burst. The plans of godly people are right, but the advice of sinners will lead you the wrong way. The words of those who are evil hide and to steal people's blood, but the speech of those who are honest saves them from traps like that. Sins are destroyed and taken away, but the houses of God will stand for The person who is praised for how wise they are, but people hate anyone who has a truest of mind. Being nobody and having a servant is better than pretending to be somebody and having no food. Those who do what is right take good care of their animals, but the kind of acts of those who do wrong are mean. Those who farm their land will have plenty of food, but those who chase dreams have no sense. Those who do what is wrong are safe for just a while, but those who do what is right last forever. Those who do evil are trapped by this simple tool, but those who have done no wrong escape trouble. Many good things come from what people say, and the work of their hands rewards them. The way of foolish people uh, seems right to them, but those who are wise listen to advice. Foolish people are easily upset, but wise people pay no attention to hurtful words. An honest witness tells the truth, but a dishonest witness tells lies. The words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Truthful words last forever, but lies last for only a moment. There are lies in the hearts of those who plan evil, but there is joy for those who work to bring peace. No harm comes to godly people, but sins have all the trouble they can handle. The Lord hates those whose lips tell lies, but he is pleased with people who tell the truth. Wise people keep their knowledge to themselves, but the hearts of foolish people shall foolish things. Hence they work hard people, but people who are lazy will be forced to it. Worry makes the heart heavy, but the kind word chooses it up. Godly people are fair, careful about the friends they choose, but the way of sinners leads them down their own path. Those who do not even cook what they get, but those who work hard eat their fill of one time to. There is life in doing what is right. Along that path you will never die. Psalm 104. I will praise the Lord. Lord my God, you are very great. You are just in glory and majesty. The Lord wraps himself in light as if it were right. He spreads out the heavens like a tent. He builds his palace high in the heavens. He makes the clouds serve as his chair. He rides on the wings of the wind. He makes the wind serve as winds serve as his messenger. So he makes flashes of lightning serve him. He placed the earth on its foundation. It can never be moved. No. You, Lord, covered it with the oceans like a blanket. The waters covered the mountains, but you commanded the waters, and they ran away. At the sound of your thunder, they rushed off. They flowed down the mountains. They went into the valleys. They went into. They went to the place you appointed for them. You drew a line they can't cross. You'll never cover the earth again. The Lord makes springs pour water out into the valleys. It flows between the mountains. The springs give water to all the wild animals. The wild donkeys satisfy their thirst, and the birds in the sky build nests by their waters. They sing among the branches. The Lord waters the man from his palace high in the clouds. His earth is filled. The earth is filled with the things he has made. And he makes grass grow for the cow and plants for the people to take care of. That's how they get food from the earth. There's wine. There's wine for the to make people glad. There's olive oil to make their skin grow and their glow. And there's bread to make them strong. The cedar trees of the band belong to the Lord. He planted them and gave them plenty of water. There the birds make their nests. The stork has a home in the Geneva trees. The high mountains belong to the wild goats. The cliffs are a safe place for its for the rock badges. The Lord made the moon to mark off the seasons. The sun knows when to go down. You Lord bring darkness. And when it and it becomes night, then all the animals of the forest prowl around. The lions rule while they hunt. All their food comes from God. The sun rises and they slip away. They return to their dens and lie down. Then people get up and go to work. They keep working until evening. Lord, you have made so many things. But how wise you were when you made all of them. The earth is full of your creatures. Look at the ocean, so big and wide. It is filled with more creatures than people. It is filled with living things, from the largest to the small. Ships sail back and forth on it. And the vehicle sea monster you made, 
plays in it. And all creatures depend on you to give them their food when they need it. But when you give it to them, they eat it. When you open your hand, they are satisfied with good things. When you turn your face away from them, they are terrified. And then you take away their breath. They die and turn back into dust. And you send your spirit. You create them. You give new life to the grave. May the glory of the Lord continue forever. May the Lord be happy with what he has made. When he looks at the earth, it trembles. When he pour, touches the mountains, they pour out smoke. And I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. May these thoughts of mine please him. I will find my joy in the Lord. But may sins be gone from the earth. May evil be evil disappear. I will praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now that's done, I shall now do the Lord's prayer. Please bow your heads. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. You will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as you have forgiven our debtors. There is none into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.